Yes, sir. Sir, just on your intro, um, because sir, you were you were seeing uh, na yung issue naman talaga ng dun sa Senate hearing was not so much emergency procurement, the need for speed. I think we all understand that the fact that these powers are actually in the Bayanihan law and in the GPB resolution. Um, I think the question more of the senators was due diligence, was their due, due diligence um, in, on the part of the DBM when it awarded a contract to a six-month-old company with a 600,000 key capital um, you know, investment. And then uh, the fact that yung, uh, may links pala siya to Michael Yang, who's an ex-advisor of the president. So my question is, the president at least no, seems to know about Michael Yang's ties to Farmali. So did the government award these pandemic contracts to Farmali knowing they were linked to Yang? Was the Yang connection what led to these contracts in the first place? No, kasi alam ko yung proseso ng uh, DBM, Ms. Key, they are availing of Bayanihan 1. Humihingi yan ang quotes from multiple sources. And the basis of quotes submitted, dun sila magde-decision kung kanino ibibigay. So hindi ibig sabihin na palibasa wala ng... Uh, uh, bidding ay hindi sila humingi ng multiple quotes. I have personal knowledge na talagang uh, uh, humingi sila ng ganyang mga quotes. No? At binigay nila sa pinakamababa na 1-7. Alam mo, napakahirap makamit itong 1-7 kasi kompletong set yan. Mula yung headgear hanggang sa paa. Hindi lang po yung PPE. Pati yung, yung sinusuot na goggles ay kasama no? doon sa price quote. At talagang challenge po talaga yung 17. In my private capacity, I, you can look at the jurisprudence on uh, government bidding. Halos lahat po yan. Ako nag-argue. So kilala ko yung mga nag-aangkat at nagbebenta sa gobyerno. Hindi po talaga nila mapatasan yung 17 na full set ng PPE. Kaya nga po, Pinalabas namin ang dokumento, hindi po yan sabi-sabi lamang, na yung uh, Aquino administration bought the exact same set of um, PPEs prior to the pandemic at 3,800 to 3,500. Can you just explain how, uh, what exactly is Michael Yang's role in all this? Because yesterday the president described him as pagador, which uh, I, I researched it from some uh, Davaoenos and they said that pagador means paymaster, someone who distributes salaries and payments. So, uh, that's how he described Michael Yang. So it, it seems, it, from a normal viewer, the involved money is involved in his role, and then he got these pandemic contracts. How can you assure Filipinos that yun nga, walang influence Michael Yang on these contracts, these billions worth of contracts? Well, ultimately, it's the price and the specification that matters. Sa presyo po ang labanan, kahit sino kaman. Eh, unfortunately, wala pong ibang kumpanya na makakabigay ng 1.7. And again, I will repeat, one company that I've represented in the Supreme Court, and it's in the SCRA, no? wanted to join, pero talagang suku sila dahil hindi nila makuha yung 1,700. Wala pong kinalaman ang mga personalidad, ang tinignan, presyo, at saka yung kwalidad. Sir Spokes, mag-add ako, Sir Spokes. Kasi yes, go ahead. You can add, uh, Sir Galvez. Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, Pia, nung time na yun, uh, kami nag-uusap nila, Lloyd, at saka yung PSDBM, at saka ng OCD, Aya kasi ang ano namin, ang directive talaga ng Presidente, within, ano, within two days or three days. Aya nga, nabigla nga yung taga PSDBM eh, na within two days kailangan ma-produce na namin. So ang tanong namin kaagad kay Lloyd, Lloyd, sino ang pwedeng makapag-produce ng ganitong kalaki ng 3 million at a certain price na ganito? And then kailangan ma-deliver yan ngayon. Yun ang ilang namin kay, kay, kay Lloyd nung sinabi namin yun. Yung sabi niya, sir, titingnan ko. Then ngayon nung nagkakahirapan na kami, Humingi kami ng anong, tulong talaga kay, ano, kay Ambassador Wang Silian kung pwede kaming maituro ko saan merong manufacturer. Yung, kasi nag-deliver ang, ano, eh, ng, ang China, ng isang, ano, isang aeroplano na PPE. Nag-usap kami doon, noong no, panahon na yun, nag-usap kami doon sa, sa NAIA kung paano kami makapag-produce ng ganung kadami. So kaya na, ano, na-involve ang ano, yung armed forces kasi dalawang C-130 ang pinadala namin kaagad doon. At saka yung Navy na nahandun sa exercise, pinadala namin doon sa ano, sa sa China, para makuha yung 600,000. Kasi yung, ano, yung C-130, they can only carry more or less mga 16 to 20, ano, eh, thousand lang eh. So meaning, ang kailangan namin kasi noong that time, is more or less at least 600 to 1 million kasi at a time. So yung ano na yun, yung, ano, yung involvement ng ano, tinatawag natin na si Michael, I believe talagang ano yun, uh, ang ano namin, ang involvement ng namin doon is basically kami nila, no, ni Yusek Lloyd, at saka nung... Uh, nung tinatawag natin ng uh, TG, uh, uh, Task Group uh, Resource Management Cluster, kami yung nag-dictate ng ano nun, ng, uh, ng, ano, ng kung paano ipoprocure at makukuha yung, ano, yung mga, mga PPE natin nung that time. So, uh, kumbaga sa ano, ang aming, ano, ang aming objective is to save lives, not to make money. Very, ano yan, very callous yung, ano, yung, ano, na ganyan. 
Ang ano namin is to save uh, our, uh, our, no, our healthcare workers. 37 na ang namatay na doktor that time at saka nurses. Meron pang tampu, sampu na, na naka-intubate. And the hospitals are, are, are pleading to us. That's why we need that, ano, that volume, that volume immediately. Ang question dyan is, uh, can they deliver on time with a decent price at saka specific na ganitong kalaking volume? Uh, does it bother, sir, uh, the executive branch na ganito nga yung, yung parang background ng company? Um, and if so, because nga sinasabi ng, ng senators na the fact that it's just six months old, walang track record, uh, does this mean, given these concerns, that the executive branch or the president will order to put on hold um, at least any procurements muna from this company given the concerns and maybe to make way for an investigation uh, because nga of these concerns? Alam mo, ang problema, Pia, is despite the fact na 625,000 ang initial paid-up capital, eh nakadeliver naman po sila eh. Hindi po issue kung nakadeliver o hindi. Siguro po, kung hindi nakadeliver, pwede magreklamo. Ba't nyo kasi in-award sa kumpanya na walang resources? No? Pero given na lahat ng PPE na kinakailangan natin to save lives actually arrive at nagamit, I don't think that's an issue. Um, pero as I said po, no, this um, was um, procured under Bayanihan 1. Siguro po kung regular bidding talagang meron talaga yung mga um, disqualification on the basis of yung, uh, um, yung, yung requirements kung ganong kalaki ang kumpanya mo. No? Pero dito po ang talagang pinagbasihan is yung quality, yung specification ng gobyerno at saka yung presyo at kailan makakadeliver. Okay, last question, Sek. Uh, si Lloyd Christopher Lau says he resigned from the BBM but um, uh, was there, is this true completely or did the president ask him to resign and what were if ever what were the reasons for that i have no reason to doubt when uh yusek lao said he resigned i am not aware that he was fired by the president he must have resigned 